Excuse me. Ah, Wayne. Come in, come in. Have you managed to craft a replica of the Armored Warrior? Certainly I have. And it turns out that my hypothesis was correct after all. This is the transmission device I reproduced. With this device, I can convert electrical impulses in my head into power waves that are transmitted to the receiver in the armored helmet. But of course, a visual will put the point across much more effectively. Here, watch. What do you mean? This armor is filled with sand. However, I have supplemented it with a liquid catalyst to aid command transmission. this? By using the device, I am controlling the armor's movement. That's amazing! The transmission device limits my field of vision. But I think that can be improved with only a few modifications. <sighs> Pretty neat, huh? You probably noticed during the demonstration, but I think it's important to point out that while controlling the armor, my body was defenseless. That is the Achilles heel of the device, if you will. What would happen if the device were to be destroyed then? Since the transmitter causes motor disconnect between the controller's brain and body, destroying the remote armor would be bad indeed. It would cause the controller to be unable to command his own body. He or she would die. It seems very risky. I would agree with that assessment. Fascinating, but risky. In theory, it should be easier to defeat, though, because the main point of vulnerability is the head rather than the whole body. I've gathered enough data, so I'm turning the device over to you now. Really? Certainly. You funded the research. It's yours. Of course, I won't be giving you the special sand required to make it work remotely. Then what good is it without that? No, you see, the sand is regulated by the Magic Technology Control Act. It is forbidden to remove it from the Academy. I am sorry. There's no way to make this thing work as intended then, is there? Oh, no, no, no. It's not as if the device is useless. You could put the receiver on an animal and use the transmitter to control that animal's movements in a crude but effective manner. Of course, the unfortunate side effect of that is the animal will die. I'll bear that in mind. Max! Ah, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The land has become very dangerous. Now that you're here, there's no time to waste. You need to deliver the supplies we've loaded on these transport beasts at once. A direct route through Grand Shill is a suicide mission. The highway is heavily fortified with enemy troops. Therefore, I believe that an indirect approach through the mountains would be the best way to arrive at Fort Ragen. Of course, you will meet opposition, but we believe that it will be far easier to overcome than what you'd encounter on the highway. Understood. And know that when you arrive at Fort Rargan, the enemy will certainly know how you did it and close off the mountain path. Therefore, once the goods are delivered, head towards the ocean by the control tower as quickly as possible. I shall do exactly as you say, but why the need to hurry to the ocean after delivering the supplies? I thought the naval blockade still prevented enemy reinforcements from arriving by sea. The naval blockade still stands. However, I believe that Wolfgang has already planned countermeasures to neutralize its effect. I see your point. However, I'm wasting your valuable time with these details. You should depart at once. Right. Let's go.